So back in December of 2021, <clears throat> really before most people were even talking about this conflict, I said, <clears throat> excuse me, before the winter is over, Putin is gonna invade Ukraine. And I listed a long range of reasons for why I thought that would happen. I'm now becoming convinced that she <clears throat> is intent on taking Taiwan before the decade is out. <clears throat> and if that happens, you know, it could literally be the start of World War III. We have President Biden on four separate occasions saying that he would send American troops to fight China for Taiwan, uh, something he had ruled out at the very start of the uh, conflict uh, in Ukraine. Uh, but even if that doesn't happen, the idea that there would not be instant and complete decoupling from China, at least on the part of the United States, if not other Western countries, in the event of their invasion of Taiwan, um, I think is, is, a, is a pipe dream. Um, and, and the economic consequences of that are gonna be horrific, to say nothing of, of Taiwan itself. So this is literally the flashpoint that could turn into Archduke Ferdinand style uh, impetus for, for a global war. Um, and, and I say it's a global war because if the United States is involved in a conflict with China in the Indo-Pacific, in the Taiwan Straits, it's highly, highly unlikely to remain in the Indo-Pacific for a couple of reasons. One, um, one of the things that the United States is gonna have to consider right away um, if it's actually fighting China and it wants to preserve most of its Navy um, in that fight, is it, it's gonna need to shut down the Chinese Air Force, uh, which is quite formidable. And to do that, it's gonna need to bomb airfields in mainland China. Well, guess what? If we're bombing airfields in mainland China, you would expect that they would retaliate with strikes against mainland United States, ballistic missile strikes against our bases, for example, which um, you know would not necessarily be nuclear. I think you could potentially keep this conflict at a conventional level, but still would be devastating and it would only be the third time in modern history where the United, continental United States um, uh, has been hit, or at least United States proper, obviously Pearl Harbor and Hawaii and then 9-11. And uh, it would be completely devastating for everyone involved. China would suffer, the United States would suffer, the global economy would suffer, Taiwan would suffer. So I believe one of the most important foreign policy priorities for the United States is to deter China from taking that step so that they would wake up every single day in Beijing, President Xi, namely, and say, today is not the day. 